Hello everybody and welcome to podcast episode six. Is it? It is podcast Ooh. episode six, I think. Today we have got a theme and today's theme is makeup. Our last podcast theme was new beginnings, but this time it's makeup. So we're going to be talking about makeup, um, not necessarily about specific products, but we will later on, but our makeup journeys. Oh, please. <laughs> no how our makeup has evolved things like oh, that oh okay that's better why that's what better. did you think i don't know i'm really taking issue with that word journey these days it's just been used all over the place anybody else find it annoying being on a real journey first of all we'll start off by discussing our weeks oh. mom how has your time been since we last filmed the last fortnight a lot of running involved i've increased the amount of running i've been doing in the last fortnight because it's in just my fitness levels are going up no end because of it. Um, my aches and pains aren't going away. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just doing a lot of running. But not very long distances, just because I've got to be careful of my heel. And I don't want to set it off again, because that's what stopped me running last year. So. Well, that's not very interesting, is it? If you're wondering why mum seems to be spinning, it's because oh, we're on spinny chairs. We are on spinny, you can't even sit, can you just see that at the top of it? Yeah. These are lovely chairs, I'm delighted with these. Yeah, we got these when we bought the holiday lets, but decided so these are too good for holiday makers, we're having them. So <laughs> <laughs> they can sit on something a bit crapper. <laughs> crapper. Crapper. That was the um, name of the man who invented the toilet, oh, Mr. God. Crapper. Was it Thomas Crapper? Somewhat Crapper. Yeah. <laughs> so, that, so that's why I think, why is it rude to say you're having a crap? because it's literally just his name. Yeah, I always just know that I would get told off for saying the word crap when I was little. Yeah, and it's literally someone's name. Yeah. My week, I've been at work, some of it, playing Sims again, as usual. You were about to have your birthday on the last one. Oh yeah, I had my birthday. Mm. If you wanna go and see what food we got, go and watch my day in the life video that I posted. Uh, I watched that about two hours ago. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Yeah, it was very nice. Uh, but apart from that, not much, so I do apologise for that. <laughs> oh yes, I was going to read a comment that was written in the last podcast. One oh. minute. Mm. So uh, whilst I find it, if you have got any comments, then we'll read them out in the next episode. If you want a shout out. I thought, seeing as they were talking about makeup tonight, that I would put on my bright red lippy, which I hardly ever put on. Absolutely um, fantastic. It's because I'm all out grey this evening. I needed this, I needed this dash of colour, I felt. Oh, by the way, I won't read out all comments on everything that's commented, just a few. Um, what, so a lot? She put, no. Huh. I love that you have the courage to do a podcast. I would love to do a podcast. Um, I like how you tell stories, girl. I enjoyed this. Thank <laughs> oh, you. That's nice. That's very kind. Um, and someone else said, I just want, I just watched your video on selective mutism. Just wanted to say thank you for sharing in such a relatable, passionate way. I feel sorry for shy people too because I know how it is. And it's so nice to have someone expressing what a lot of us feel. You're a very rational, down to earth person. Well, thank you very much. Yes, actually. I'm assuming he's talking to me because this is the podcast. Uh, yeah, and not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I did yeah, talk about the... selective mutism in that video. Yeah, we did kind of do one together where we discussed it from a mother's perspective, but that hasn't had so many views because... Uh, no, it's still had a fair, a fair amount. Has it? Yeah. Yeah. But, no. but yeah, just thought to say, if you've got any comments, I'll read them out in the next episode. We won't necessarily discuss them, but mm -hmm. we'll read them out. So mom, how old was you when you started wearing makeup? I would say, I would say I was about 12 slash 13. And by makeup, I just mean black eyeliner. By makeup, I mean just black eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you went you went off the camera then. Sorry, and um, yeah, I that was all I used to wear. No mascara, no eyeshadow, because I suppose at school makeup wasn't allowed and as such. But we got away with what we could get away with. And the eyeliner I used to put on the in in a, like the inner rim of my eye. You know, yeah, oh. I know it was Damn, the eighties. It was the nineteen eighties, so I um, must have made my eyes look like super small, like little slitty things. But uh, yeah, and then I can't remember wearing any other type of makeup when I was at school. Yeah, uh, 
as for me, I am going to do a video. I think it might be quite interesting to do a video where I do half my face how I did it when I was younger. Oh. And I mean like when I was like 13 or 14. Because I was probably about 12 when I started doing my makeup. And then half my face how I do it now, just to show the difference. But just as a little tip, if you do do a thick black eyeliner underneath your eyes, it will make your eyes look smaller. So if that's not the look you're going for, then don't do that. Uh, what, you mean like I do? I would say do it subtly and like blend it out, um, like a smoky eye rather than just thick black. These days I tend to just get a very, very fine brush and just dip it into the brown powder and just gently just nudge it along mm. so it looks natural. Um, I did a yeah. bit of that this morning, I don't know if you can tell, I think it's a while ago. What, on the lower lash Just line? on the lower... I'm not sure. Just a it's, teeny tiny really bit. That was 12 hours ago, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I've had a day's hard graft in the meantime. So as a makeup wearer, Mum, do you feel confident without makeup? Like, would you leave the house with no makeup on and feel confident? Uh, it, it depends <laughs> what I... Don't know what that was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it depends where I'm going. I'm perfectly happy just nipping to the co-op to get some milk, some bread, a bit of veg or something. But if I'm going to go out to a pub or something, then no, the makeup's going on. Or yeah, if I'm going I, to work, the go makeup's to, going on. Even if you go to the shop, wouldn't you still put um, foundation on? Nine times out of ten, I would have makeup. But I can go in the shop with that foundation on, but... Oh, well, let's not lie, I've put foundation on whatever I'm doing. I've been for a run, knowing full well I'm going to go in the shower when I get back, i put foundation on, so. Well, that's because I get so red. I do go quite, mm. quite red. Mum's got rosacea. Rosacea. It's not any... too bad at the moment, actually. Oh. Yeah, it's behaving itself. If anyone has any tips, mm -hmm. about, and you've got rosacea, obviously. It's just, know. what sets me off is um, hot environments, being in windy conditions, alcohol, food, hot baths, you know, all that, all that combined, we're talking full on purple. So. <laughs> yeah, which I have done before. I must have said before on your, your channel that Jen once said to me, oh God, Pam, that looks sore. <laughs> Just because I've got totally purple. <laughs> but yeah, but I don't get much trouble from little spots anymore. So they seem to be behaving Very themselves. Very good. They are really good. As for me, I would say when I was younger, I didn't feel confident without makeup on because I used to have acne. Oh, yeah, but definitely now I'm fine with that makeup on. Like I'll always wear makeup to work because that's just what I do and that's mm -hmm. what I'm used to. And also I enjoy doing my makeup in the morning. It's like a time to relax and sort of like wake yourself up before you go to work. Like I'd hate to be the person that gets up in the morning and just goes straight to the car and goes. Like I need to have the time to wake myself up. Mm -hmm. But I definitely feel comfortable going. Like I'd go. I went out for a meal with Mum, Dad, and Tommy um, like a few months ago, and I just didn't wear any makeup because I just didn't care. Like. I'm not she, bothered. She went upstairs and took her makeup off. Yeah. I found that just bizarre. Because I, We're I going just, out, I'm just taking my makeup yeah, off. Yeah, because I wanted to be comfortable and, and I've had it on all day. Yeah. Wow. No. Comfort is key. I agree. So how has your makeup evolved over the years? We kind of talked about this, but what really? would you say has changed? The fact that I use foundation now. I never used to use foundation. I would... I'd do the mascara, I'd do the eyeshadows. Um, I never used to fill in my eyebrows when I was younger either, but I do now. Um, yeah, and I put lipstick on, but never use a foundation or a base or anything. Um, but then the rosacea came along, and I've always, I've always blushed and stuff, but just <laughs> went, went, went with it. But yeah, as I was got older, I discovered that foundation was the way to go, and I looked a lot better with it on. And learning that less is more. She says in bright red lippy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the rest of it is understated. But uh, yeah. I started off wearing this foundation from the collection, no, natural collection from Boots. Don't get it, it's trash, literally. <laughs> if any rainfall happened, it would melt my foundation off. No other foundation does that. Like, it doesn't mm. come running down your face. If anything, water um, is fine for foundation usually. But um yeah so i just scrapped that thank heavens i used to wear winged eyeliner on the top and black eyeliner underneath my eyes um i don't do that anymore i do still do winged eyeliner but i never ever do black underneath my eyes to say she didn't look a knob though she looked okay <laughs> 
I thought she looked ridiculous when she was going out. Like my eyebrows yeah. used to be questionable. Yeah, I was just time. about to say yeah. my eyebrows. Like when you look back on my Instagram, I'll try and like show you some pictures. Um, if you look back on my Instagram, I look back and I think literally all I can see is my eyebrows. And <laughs> when you do it at the time, you don't really see it. But yeah, I do like to fill my eyebrows in. Mm. But I try and be subtle now. Yeah, you've got good shape going on now. But maybe I'll look back at this video and be like, Damn girl, those eyebrows are trash. <laughs> They're not, I think they're acceptable. Thanks, mum. Oh, and I'd written down here, how has your opinion on makeup changed over the years? But I guess that's quite similar to what we've already answered. Mm. But what I kind of meant by that for myself was that I like to wear like less makeup now. Like mm. I try and use less foundation, um, like where possible. I try not to use as many powders, like, I mean, like less product, so like less of my bronzer. I don't tend to do like really colorful eyeshadows like I did before, I also have less eyebrow product i also don't care that much about mascara so i'll put a little bit on i don't need to put loads on so yeah i have an opinion about makeup other people wear and i shouldn't judge because it's totally their choice but i always think it's such a shame when they're covering their faces and i know i'm going to sound so typically middle-aged that they're covering up their natural beauty with all yeah, this you all this stuff you know yeah, I, i'm mean, do you mean caked on or do I'm, you mean i mean really like bronzy highlighter it's really dark brown highlight and with a massive like streak of silver right down the or middle of it maybe what you're saying is because that does not look great um because they're trying to highlight their face when actually what that does is it's like it's not a shimmer, it's like a colour. But it's when, grey. when they do do that, they tend to go hand in hand with having super large fake eyelashes as well, and I can't bear them. I'm all, I think fake eyelashes are fine, but let's do it natural, ladies, please. You know, not this full on shing. And it's just, <laughs> I just, I think. I, I think you know if it's too much if what you wear glasses and it's like getting stuck on your glasses. Mm. But I think, because. I don't know, my eyelashes are getting thinner as I get older. It'd be nice to have just those one or two that you just sort oh, of yeah, dot you can in. Stick ones on you know, the just on the outer edge or something, because uh, I've got a really bad habit of when I'm reading, of oh, dear, I'm pulling at my eyelashes. Yeah, I know, because they have bold lids. Yeah, they won't, but some <laughs> of them don't grow back. I know, particularly as you get older. Though. I know, I don't know why that's so... Especially if I've got mascara on as well. I'm just reading the book and then suddenly I'm oh, nice. Yeah, naughty habit. <laughs> Very bad. Bald lids, not good. <laughs> <laughs> right, now for our top three favourite makeup products. I'll just quickly show mine first. I won't ramble on, don't worry. Um, I will. My first product is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I like this because it's cheap, so it's literally five pounds. Oh, also, wow. it blends really nicely. It's not cakey, and it doesn't look streaky. So it's not one of those foundations that like you have to keep blending and blending. It blends really nicely. Looks kind of natural. It's also medium coverage, so it it's not like full coverage. So it means that if you want like more natural day, then you just put a bit of this on. But if you want it to be full coverage, if you want it to be full coverage, you can put more on. Uh, so yeah, I really like this and this is probably like my seventh bottle. Okay, I'll have to give that a go because when I'm not using my expensive foundation yeah. and I'm just at home, I will use a cheaper Rimmel one, which is But not it is not full coverage. But yeah, yeah. kind of need full coverage. But it's five pounds. Yeah. But you can make it full coverage. Second product is from Vive. I got this for Christmas. Um, I, by the way, I'm choosing my top three makeup products of things I've currently got at my parents because some of my favourites will be at home um, at my flat, but I don't have them with me, so I picked ones I can show. I still think this has been Georgie's home. No. Hey y'all, um, how y'all doing? Again. Um, sorry, the camera just cuts off like after 15 minutes. It does. Um, but yeah, I've got this blusher from Vive. It's in the shade Pesca. I did do a whole video on Vive, so I'll. Um, link that in the description if you want to go and watch that, but it's Jamie Genevieve's own brand I like this because it's like suited to my skin tone. Well, no, it's suited to what I like. I like um, Oh, hey y'all. What? There's a light. It's creating a light on there. Oh! What do you Oh my god, it's on your jumper. Is it? Oh yeah. Anyway, um, I like how it's lighting. peachy shade. It means that it blends into the skin nicely like in terms of like the colour. It's not like too 
Like, can you see that? That's just looking natural. It blends with bronzer nicely. I just like it. So there we go. And it's nice and pigmented. Mm -hmm. Not the cheapest because you no. actually got that from us for Christmas, didn't you? Thanks, Mum. But that's the time to get special things like that is for gifts and... Right, I also wanted to include this as one. This is the eyeshadow palette I've got with me at my parents at the minute. I do have some at home, but obviously I can't mention them because they're at home. But this is from Revolution. It's in collaboration with The Corpse's Bride. And these are the shades. Now, I was actually quite surprised using this, like how pigmented the eyeshadows are, considering Revolution is like more of like a cheaper brand. Like it's not cheap, but it's not like, like it's cheaper than others and the quality of the eyeshadows is actually really really good pigmentation is great like compared to some of my other eyeshadow palettes it's like better than them so um yeah oh what's a little is that like butterflies yeah oh that's cool but it's school school's on the other one yeah isn't it? because I, i've just watched george's review of that on her channel and it was schools wasn't it really cool yeah i will do a review of this palette at some point but i need to kind of use all the shades just is kind it? of Get is it the corpse's bride or is it corpse the corpse bride? bride? Yeah, it's the corpse bride. Corpse, not the corpse's bride. But it's right. just easy corpse. to say the corpse's bride. I don't right. know why. What are it's, your top? I was going to say it's like people don't say little, they say littles. Yeah, well, we don't say that. But you said anyway. Well, okay. Moving on to mine. Mum's top three favourite makeup products. Right. Well, oh Christ. Thank you go, girl. She's stuffed up. She's stuffed up. Right. Well, we'll go with the foundation as well. And. Um, can we see? I'll show it up close after. Yeah, Estee Lauder's double well, double wear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I um, was getting a bit of a skin complaint that, not rosacea I don't think, but it was really playing up down one side of my face. And somebody I work with, his wife, worked on the makeup Lancome counter at um, House of Fraser, going back about 12, 13 years. And um, he got me some free samples of the double wear through her. And it was absolutely brilliant. Don't use it anymore, but yes, yeah, sorry. Got a sample in the magazine, let's get it right. <laughs> Just thought, wow, that's really good. And what I like about it is it stays on all day. Um, it doesn't shift. Your makeup stays put on it very well too. And also it doesn't rub off on your phone when you're on it. It doesn't rub off on your collars of your coat or jump when you pull it on. It really, really stays put and it's comfortable and it doesn't affect my skin. I just wish it was a bit cheaper because it's a choker for me to pay about £34 for such a tiny ass little bottle. So, but it's worth it. I'm worth it. You're worth it. Or is that a different brand again? That, isn't that Rimmel? Rimmel. Maybe. Mm -hmm. No, Rimmel. You're worth it. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, it's a bit mucky because this goes on after my foundation. I've got foundation on it. This is Dr. Paul Paul. Uh, and Georgie gave this to me. She got it in a glossy box when you used to subscribe to that. Yeah. And it's basically, well, it says soothing balm. It's a two-in-one product. Yeah, it's for li lips, um, cheeks, and cosmetic finishing with a hint of tint. So yeah, I use it on my cheeks. Not much, otherwise I can look like, um, <laughs> is it Andy Pandy and Looby Loo. -loo. Um, but it's got a little hint of shimmer in it as well, and that's nice. But yeah, I do use it on my lips as well, so. But it's going on forever because such a small amount goes a long way and I think it's great. So, blushy wise, it just, I like it. I do like it very much. So <laughs> thanks for that poo because I didn't even buy it. I don't know how much it would have been brand new. I think like 20 something pounds. Yeah, wow, that's quite a lot of money. It's cruelty free and it's vegan. So all makeup should be for cruelty free. Yeah, definitely. For crying out loud, Jesus. Um, and, not bullying her up or anything, my third favourite product is actually Georgie's lip gloss. I love it. It doesn't dry my lips out, because I put this on, my lips are gonna be dead dry tomorrow, but that doesn't dry my lips out, and it lasts ages. I don't have to reapply it for like, well, I don't know, four or five hours, unless I've eaten. And I like the fact that the tube's nice and chubby, 
Although you're changing the packaging, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Only because they aren't available anymore. Right. Um, for me to purchase them. Also, um, that actual shade, the peach shade, isn't available at the minute, but it will be at some point, but just not yet. I would prefer a slightly darker shade, if I'm honest. Yeah. But well, you yeah. know, we've got the whole year. Yeah, um, it's fine. But I love it, love it, love it. But I recently came out with this one, which is a sheer shine lip gloss. It's just a clear one, mm. and it's like a two-in-one product so it's makeup and skincare because it's got um jojoba oil in as well as um glycerin and it means that it's like nourishing your lips and softening them as well as looking glossy so, so a jojoba oil has it been put oh, no no hasn't put, it been put in that then so this is okay. like more of like a balmy um skincare lip t lip product so it's like like you could literally like put this on before you went to sleep if you wanted to um and in the daytime whereas that one is like a gloss it's like a mm. makeup product yeah. so yeah okay. but that is available on my etsy and ebay which is linked in the description if you was wondering and it's five pound 99. i can't stress enough though that i'm not trying to promote georgie's products it genuinely is one of my favorites i've often, said, you, to you, I've often yeah. said to you you know if i thought it was shit, i would have said as well <laughs> so uh, it so isn't so thanks ma'am so that kind of rounds up this episode. The only thing left um, is to do the highlight of the week. Highlight of the week. So, Mum, what's your highlight of weeks. the week? Two of, weeks. Of the weeks. Highlight of my, your birthday, I think. Oh yeah, that was quite good. Very, very, very That's nice. That's my day. highlight of the um, oh. week as well. Oh, super! It was really yeah. nice. Yeah, oh, we went shopping. God. Well, I've already explained what we did in my vlog. Such a wet day, but just nice that. Yeah, and I watched your vlog, and you said it's been one of your better birthdays, one of the yeah. nicest birthdays. Yeah, and I thought, oh, really? It was just me and you in the afternoon. So, hopefully, that made you think. You won't be filming in the morning. <laughs> No, I can't Is it because I bought you all those Colin the Caterpillar yeah. products? <laughs> I got a lot of Colin the Caterpillar Bean Colin products. Them. Yeah, I had such fun buying those as well. <laughs> Just every time I turned a corner in M&S, it was like, there's another Colin product. Like, the oh, sweets brilliant. are actually really good. They're probably the best sweets I've had. I've never tried them. They were good. You could tell they were good quality. Oh. Like they haven't just brought them out they, because it's got Colin's name on it. They had so many different packets of Colin de Caterpillar sweets. They, it was just two of them there. Mm. They've probably got about another six different types of sweeties. Mum, you didn't get me them as well? Well, there was a budget. You know what I mean? I don't know how much I spent on Colin the Caterpillar for you, but it was quite a bit of spondulis. No, no, no. It was quite a bit. No, and no. she also had a Colin the Caterpillar. Birthday cake. Colin the Caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Colin. <laughs> Colin yeah. the Caterpillar. Yeah. Not oh. got my teeth in. So, Love yeah, it. just having a meal out together. We had a right lol in the restaurant because it was one of those things where one of us said something, it was me. I said something, but it had just gone really quiet when I said it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it just tickled us, so I was having a right lol about that. Yeah, it was good. Funny. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So that rounds up this episode. This is a makeup themed episode. If you've got any recommendations, well, or not recommendations, Jesus, if you've got any suggestions for next podcast episode, let us know in the comments or just any comments in general. Apart from, will you two just shut up? And you can comment that if you want. Yeah. Mail. <laughs> 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 right, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and we will see you in, in a two fortnight. Weeks. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Bye, my name.